What I really like about the new CBA guide, Measuring Diversity in Law Firms, is that it provides, first of all, a very readable summary of the reasons why diversity surveys are important, and a step-by-step -step outline of how to conduct a survey. One of the things uh, that the guide gets particularly right is the need for preparation for the survey. Since surveys in Canada depend on voluntary participation, it's really important to let participants know why the survey is important and to reassure them that their privacy will be respected. And that requires tremendous groundwork and communications ahead of the actual survey. Um, if you don't get a good rate of participation in the survey, then it may be a waste of time and money. Um, at Norton Rose, we've been preparing for our survey for over a year, and we'll be following the CBA guide on further communication uh, prior to the actual survey. Another thing that is bang on in the CBA guide is the emphasis on the need for leadership within the firm. You're going to have a very hard time convincing participants that the firm is taking uh, any diversity initiative and still more a survey seriously if the leadership within your firm has not embraced and emphasized diversity as a cultural value over and over and over again. So the CBA guide gets this right. And finally, um, I really like how the CBA guide addresses the need for what to do after the survey is done. You need to communicate the results of the survey back to participants, and you need to invite them to participate in future diversity initiatives. If you don't do this, you may have a culture of diversity, but you don't have a culture of inclusion, and that may limit your growth as a firm.